What's going on guys, my name is Tom from Dread Labs and today we're gonna go into some album cover techniques. Dread Labs. So I got this request up on our Discord on how to do a certain effect. Um, I'll show it up on the screen right now. I did this Photoshop piece real quick. Um, it's just a photo uh, got from Unsplash, link is in the description, together with some uh, embossed text that I did. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a threshold filter and as you can see we want to have the car visible a bit more like this but as you can see the text is not very visible right now so what we're going to do is we're going to lower the threshold filter up until uh, where the car picture is we're going to duplicate the threshold we're going to hide it for now we're going to group these text together and call it text and then uh, click on uh, the threshold filter and Hold Alt or Option and use it as a clipping mask on your text. And then we're going to modify the text separately, like this. Now that we have a basic album cover, uh, I want to do something to make the edges around the car a bit lighter. Um, we can do that by applying some noise filter to it, like this. And as you can see, you can get that grainy look in here a bit better. If you want, you can also uh, go and get some lightning brushes. I'll put a link in the description. And put it in there. Make the brush just a little bit smaller. Make sure it's the foreground color is set to white. And blast away. Make sure that you use different kinds of lightning brushes because people will notice if it's the same one over and over again. Now that you have the basic art done, you can go to Adjustments, which is under Window Adjustments, uh, and add a gradient map to it. And here you can decide which color you want your artwork to be. For example, um, red and maybe a darkish purple. Cool. Let's turn that into blue. Because this is a non-destructive uh, way of editing, you can also add different stuff to your uh, to your artwork or modify things, um, such as let's say if I want to uh, mask out some of the lightning parts around the text here, I can just mask them out like this. So there we have this effect. Um, this was just a suggestion that someone put up on our Discord. Uh, you can join the Discord by sending us a DM in our Instagram, and we'll send you the link. In the next short video we're gonna texturize this and I'll go over a bit of how texturing works and um, why you should or should not texture your artworks. And I hope you learned something today or at least feel inspired and I'll see you in the next video.